mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the victorious name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Brethren, we are still in prayers. I want us by the grace of God to just pray for a little moment. Before by the grace of God our Father and the Lord comes to take over. Please help me open you with your Bibles and let's look at a passage. Matthew chapter 11. Matthew chapter 11. Matthew chapter 11. Are we there? Okay. Please let's look at um, Matthew chapter 11 from verse 1. Just two verses. Um, three verses, one to three. And it came to pass when Jesus had made an end of commanding his 12 disciples, he departed thence to teach and to preach in their cities. Now, when John had heard in the prison the works of Christ, he sent two of his disciples. Verse 3. Can we read that verse 3 together? One, two, go. And say it unto him, Art thou he that shall come, or do we look for another? Brethren, just to stir up our minds to pray, yesterday our Father in the Lord was drawing our attention to John the Baptist. And we as ministers, as workers, as people in this capacity, I believe, hardly will we will find anybody that has not reckoned with him as a vessel that the Lord used mightily. In the Gospel of John, it was he that told us, that is the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. In fact, it appeared as if people didn't know who he was talking about. He was the one that said, see him. He said, I will not have known him, except he that sent me say it, upon whom you see the Spirit descending as a dove. That is the one. He told them, he said, this is he that I spoke about. What happened now? A man of God said, Are you the one that I have been expecting? Or should I look for another one? And if I understand what God has been bringing to us through the vessel, I think I will also say here, oil has finished. So when I was meditating on this, it appeared as if when the oil of a man finishes, especially of a minister, we lose three things. One, we lose our conviction. Things we used to be convinced of. Messages we used to be convinced of. Yesterday, daddy was telling us, some people that started, they were known for preaching holiness, for maintaining integrity in ministry. Today, we don't know what they are saying again. When the oil is finished, a man loses his conviction. Number two, when the oil is finished, a man loses his commitment. He was so committed, he was willing to dare prison to tell the king you took. This one no be marriage and adultery they do here. Now he's asking, are you the one or should I change commitment? Should I look for another? Maybe there is somebody here you are about to look for another. Number three, when the oil finishes, we lose compulsion, the drive. You were the one that in your street, 5 a.m., your voice had woken people. Some people depended on your morning cry. It's no longer there. You were the one, 12 a.m. to 1, your voice in intercession. You were holding demons captive. You were releasing men. We have not heard your voice now for some time. Heaven has not heard it. The drive is not there. Then I remember that somebody in the Old Testament had fallen into this kind of thing again. Elijah. And when Jezebel sent a messenger to him, to him, he said, by this time tomorrow, I will kill you. And I wonder, is that how they kill people? People that have been assassinated that we know. Do you send somebody to them and say, by tomorrow, we are coming to kill you? It was a messenger that was 
planned to drain the oil. He ran. And when he ran, he had lost conviction. He had lost commitment. He had lost compulsion. He said, Baba, I want to resign. Look for another one. God said, okay. God pleaded with him. He didn't want to get it. He said, oh, yeah, go back the same. Go and anoint Hazel to be king. Anoint Jehu to be commander. Anoint Elisha in your room. In your own capacity. In your place. Anoint Elisha. May no man take your place. Yeah. Brethren, Elijah resigned. Who was it that threatened him before he resigned? Jezebel. Who killed Jezebel? Jehu. Which Jehu? The one Elijah anointed. Which Elijah? The one that resigned. He anointed Elisha. Elisha did 32 miracles. He, Elijah, did 16. So the grace to have done 48 miracles. Where was it all the while? In Elijah. Which Elijah? The one that resigned. Elisha couldn't hand over to Gehazi. You know why? You know, had he been Elisha handed over to Gehazi, Gehazi would have opened Gehazi and Sons Ministries Global. You know that. Gehazi would have put prayer for marriage, 500,000 naira. Prayer for contract, 1 million. You know, Gehazi would have done that. Elisha died with it. They were burying a man and they saw the Arameans. They carried the body of the man through. In a, it touched the bones of Elisha. There was still residual anointing that was not handed over to anybody. The man, people that threw the dead body were still running from enemies. They saw the dead man running past them. They saw, but not be you will bury now. He said, Make them kill me again. Make them kill me again. He touched the dead bones of Elisha and stood up. Which Elisha? The one Elijah anointed. Which Elijah? The one that resigned. Just one prayer point today, this morning. No matter what you are going through, I will not resign. I will not resign. Can you lift your voice unto the Lord? Anyhow, God will help us today as the counsel of God will come forth. Can you on your own make up your mind and say, Father, I will not resign. It is possible you are going through some difficulties in ministry that nobody knows. It is possible you are facing some challenges that nobody knows. Nobody knows what you are going through. It's true. It's true. It's true. If we will tell ourselves the truth, it's not easy. If you want to follow it the way of God, it's not easy. It is true. But can you make up your mind? Can it be? The Bible said Daniel proposed in his heart. Can we propose in our hearts and say resignation is not an option? Resignation is not an option. Lord, Lord, grant me the grace. Anyhow, you will help me. Help me. Help me today because to resign is not an option. I am not, I don't even want to consider it. Like Daniel, proposing your heart, proposing your heart and say, Father, I have burnt the bridge. If you don't help me here, let me die here. Let me die here if you will help me. Where else can I go to? God was speaking to us yesterday. We can't go out. For the oil sellers, the man that is out is already outside the radius of grace. When a man goes outside the radius of grace, disgrace is not far. Hey, I can't go to them for oil. Baba, you that called, you said you will justify. Those that you will justify, you will glorify. So if you don't help me today, I am finished. I am finished. I am finished. Father, the word that is coming this morning has to come for me. Oh. It has to come for me. Otherwise, you can as well close my file. You, Baba, close it yourself because me here, yeah, I have burnt the bridge. I have burnt the bridge. I will not resign. Brethren, those three things. 
our convictions, our commitment, our compulsion. Hey, what has happened to them? Can you call upon the Lord? Because God is coming to us this morning. The Lord is coming to us strongly this morning. Yes, Father. We are in your hands. You are the potter. We are just clay. We are just clay. King of all glory, if you don't help us, any other place they promise help unto us is, is a mockery of what you have done. It's a counterfeit. We will not go there. We will not go there. Deliver us from stepping out into the night to go and look for oil. That was how Judah stepped out. The next thing he betrayed you. Father, we don't want to go out. Then I went out to see the daughters of the land. We don't know the kind of oil she was looking for there. Shechem, son of Hamor, saw her that day. That was the end of her ministry. Oh God, if there will be no oil in the house, Father, let us die here. Lord, we are looking unto you. Help us in your mercy. Help us in your grace. Help us in your grace. Help us, Lord, for the sake of your holy name. For the sake of your holy name. For the sake of your holy name. Will you begin to round up your prayers? Begin to tie up your prayers. Father, unto you, Lord. Unto you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Brethren, we will round this prayer in a hymn. Please check your um, song your song sheets. We have a hymn there on the first column that says, Breathe on me, breath of God. Can we take that as a song which will bring in our Father and the Lord? Please, there are still some sheets here, but if somebody by your side has, I know I forgot to announce, some of us left us at home. Ushers, please help me. Help me. Okay. Help me for some people to get. Distribute some people on this side. Breathe on me, breath of God. It's on the first column on that. Sweet. 